I'm going to show you how to paint this amazing rain force in watercolor. To view the final painting, come to visit YongChenArt.com. If you want to download the reference drawing template and interact learning with me, come to join us on Patreon. I'm going to start with the little simple layout. Okay, I'm going to just use a little light blue color. Now thinking about where's going to be the the main object that will be the boat. So I'm going to put it right here, a little bit halfway to the middle over here. So right over here. So this is the location of this boat. Okay, the summer is already here. So I hope that everyone has a very good plan for the summer. And the bottom over here, and have it right here. So I'm gonna have a little bit of water. So there you go, like that. That's the shape of this boat. So I'm gonna put it over here, and the side coming all the way to the tip over here, and then the body of the boat, and it will be all here this is good and just mark the simple location so that is going to be uh, the main part of the boat and have people standing over here and so on so that's one now I'm going to have the little bit like the blue color so simply mark the location of the water now I'll take a look at this is going to be the top of the water. So I'm going to put that right from here all the way. That's good. It's a good suggestion. And coming on to this side, this is very soft. You can see that there's some water is bouncing up. And also over here, I have this lots of water and have very great. I'm going to have that a little bit great like that. And it's coming up over here. And have that a little bit, a uh, little bit shadow. So I'm gonna have that a little bit softer, like that. Okay, that we know was just there. And then we're gonna thinking about that is just a bigger shape, right here. That is just a big piece of rock. Okay, I'm gonna put it in over here. And here you go, like that. And then come up to the top. Maybe you can have this a little bit higher. Okay, here you go. Like that. This is good. That's very fine. You can use a uh, graphite pencil to do this step to mark the location and then and take your time. Okay. And then coming over here, that would be the top of this water. Okay, like that. And here you go. Now I have quite a bit of like almost like a same space over here between that to the boat. And then coming a little bit more onto this side. Okay. Like this. That would be good. And then that would be uh, the cliff of this on this side. So that's from the top of the water coming up over here all the way. And then this is leave this much. That would be the rock over here. That's just good, like that. Let's put it nice. Okay, now I'm gonna use a little bit lighter, lighter color. Now I'm gonna come in over here. They see this would be the, a little water coming a little bit more out over here. So this side, the I actually going to, just gonna put a little gray color right in here. And why don't I just put that? This is just the blue red color mixed together. You can get this color. Okay. Okay, this is good. Right here. Okay. So before you get to the textures, to the, um, to all the uh, small details, and you need to working on the larger, larger shape. This is the whole shadow side over here. Now I'm gonna just use uh, some water to make it a little bit softer. And I can do that 
over here too. And look at over here, this would be, get a little bit blue color, right there. This is good. And I have that. And coming down over here, so the water coming up over here too. So, right here, this is good. Okay, that's good. Coming over here, that's the top of the water. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna take a look at the top over here, and I'm gonna have a little big, little big blue color, light blue color. Look at this coming over here, like that, and that would be some shadow as well. Just use a little dry brush coming up like this. So we make the top over here have a little bit more and have a bit of light on the top. Okay, this is good. Like that, get this shape over here. And the top over here has the water just a little bit more gray, but still can be see a little bit cooler. So now I'm gonna put it here. So just have some dry brush like that. Coming, take a look at top over here. Always looking at the larger, larger connection. Okay, that's coming over here. That is good. Get a little bit great. Okay, right here. Just use the side of this brush. So this also see some really, really soft color. So really soft. So I have a little bit more water. Yeah, make that a little bit softer, like that. That's good. Okay, that's coming on this side. We can also see uh, some blue-gray color over here. I'm gonna have that just the side. Just see this a little bit more softer, like that. This is the shadow of this. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna have that a little bit more. Okay, a little bit, actually a little bit more green. The blue and the red together. And you see that coming like this. That's good. I'm gonna also have this a little color. A little bit green color coming over here too. Okay. Okay, here you go. Don't worry about too much. Just put the color in. I'm gonna have a little bit gray coming over here and a little bit blue like that. And see a little bit, a little bit shadow of this shape. And I'm gonna also painting around over here so I can see this a uh, little bit separation to the different layer. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's good. Now over here, I can make it even a little bit darker. Get a little bit blue. Get some red color. Okay. That's good. Now down over here, there will be a little bit darker. And I can have just some dry brush as well. And I'm gonna have just a little bit green. Okay, here you go. Get the blue and the yellow. Okay. Here you go now like this okay that's just good a little bit more blue all right I'm gonna come do a little bit more so I'm gonna have that okay that's good like that now now I can also use the dry brush okay just the dry brush. I'm gonna have this coming in a little bit. Let's see, there's some texture. So in the water, uh, the edge very, very, very like lots of bubbles and small water. Okay, that's just good. So that, that's very good. And now I'm going to paint in the side over here. I'm gonna paint a little bit darker color first. And now I'm going to use the flat brush and I'm just going to take the red 
there you go the red and the present blue or the winter blue green shade okay here you go now just get some dark color now let's take a look just put that right in here yeah take a look coming down over here that's good okay like that that's a little shape here that's good now coming down over here okay that's the bottom over here just hitting the surface the top of the water so that's good now I'm gonna just put the very dark color okay this is good okay, here you go that's good I'm gonna come in all the way to the top over here coming down a little bit mm, here you go take a look at how the water running down okay that's good okay now I'm gonna come up over here all right pretty good a little bit more red with the blue you see you don't need other colors the three colors is already enough to mix any color you need okay here you go now we're going to also when it's just wet we're gonna put that uh, some green color on top of that okay here you go like this Ooh, that is a little bit too much coming out and you need to be a little bit smaller so because it's only going to be here like that okay here you go so we need to get rid of that much so I'm gonna take a look and I'm gonna take that color away here you go I'm gonna take that color here you go have a little bit light that will be fine okay I'm gonna take that out very good you see very easy and simple now I'm gonna take the use the calligraphy brush got the yellow color yeah a little bit more yellow I'm gonna take a little, little bit blue color now this is good I did the screen color too bright get a little bit red this is good now I'm gonna put that right here and also have some green color over there too okay if they're too bright get the red that is simple okay that's good like that and over here too okay there's a little green shape the rock over here on the top so also have that a little green over here because it's wet it's so easy to merge together okay that's good and coming on to this side okay you just think about have fun okay okay here you go now I'm gonna have that a little bit more green let's get a little bit more yellow here you go this, this looks good okay a little bit more blue now I'm gonna have this color right over here and I'm gonna have a little bit more blue a little bit more blue that's too much blue get the yellow okay this is good and I'm gonna put that right on top of this okay there you go a little bit thicker okay this is good a little bit red that's good now that's a little bit darker here you go like that and now put just but oh, this is still wet so I come back to do that a little bit later so I'm gonna coming down all the way over here also have a little bit this green color also have a little bit brown color as well so I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow and red so it's gonna be a little bit more brown and 
the green, just the yellow and the and the blue color. So simple thinking. Okay, that's good. And take a look. Is that ready? Hey, here you go. That's good. Okay, coming all the way in here. That's good. I'm gonna have some really, really dark color in here. That's a little bit softer. That look even better. That's good. Like that. And this. Add a little color in here. That's good. Like that. We can have an even darker color in a, a little bit. So nice. And now I'm going to have some a uh, little bit dry brushes. So I'm gonna take this color first. Take this same color that I'm going to use the tissues. Get rid of some of this. And I'm gonna come in here. There's a little big shape. Now it's just a focus on getting the background right. Okay, so don't worry about the other things. It's gonna come after. Okay, that's good. Like that. And I'm gonna have this and just see that have some soft edges like that. This is dry brushes like that coming in. That's good. Okay. Like that. Let's get just use the side of the brush. Okay, here you go. I'm also going to have some a little bit half cover rock like that. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right. Have some. I'm going to come a little bit more in it. Now I'm going to have some darker color. Let me just get the red and the blue color. Okay, here you go. A little bit thicker, which is less water. Now I'm gonna come in over here. Here you go. Now this darker got a little bit more blue as well. Now here you go. Get it in here. Here you go. That's good. Like that. And. A little bit darker in here. That's a little bit darker. Shadow over there too. And that's good. Now it's a little bit darker here. And then coming down over here. Now I have a little bit darker. Okay, you can have a little bit of detail. Make it look like this. It's some shadow of the uh, tree or the leaves so this is good okay coming here a little bit darker here too as well now coming down over here I'm gonna have this a little bit darker connect that in okay coming on this this side this rock can be a little bit darker but doesn't need to be that dark now we create very nice detail and layering and spaces okay Get a little bit more red. That's good. Now take a look at this rock. There you go, like that. That's good. All right. Now. Nice. Now we're also going to uh, give a little bit suggestions for the tree. At the front over here to get just a little bit darker version. You need to get the red mixed into the green. Okay, that's good. All right, and here you go. Now I'll take a look. Like that, coming in here. And, and have some the green color. Okay, here you go. That's good. That's good. Now see that. That's a little tree on the side over here. 
Okay, and this side a little accident, so I'm gonna take care of that. This also see a little gray color coming all the way down over here, so I'm gonna just use the water to get rid of this. Also get a little gray color, a little blue greenish color. There you go, coming down over here and all the way coming down to the top of the water. Okay. This, that's good. Right. And over here, have a little bit gray color. Like that. That's good. And then we're gonna go back into to develop a little bit more details over there. And then we're gonna come down to uh, do the main object a little bit later. Now take a look at the top over here. We're gonna have a little bit gray color. And right here, gonna have that. Some dry brushes. This is co-pressed uh, watercolor paper. So you have quite a bit of texture. Okay, there you go, that's um, also some shadow, that's good. And over here, a little bit softer. Okay, keep going. And quite a bit of texture here. You go. Some look like the water coming down. Really? Okay, here you go. That's good. Okay, this is good. We can come back to do a little bit more in a moment. Give some wrap texture. Okay, now I'll take a look. We need to make that a little bit more darker and take a look at right in here okay like that there you go. a little bit more separation like that and can have also a little gap going through over here okay like that keep some gap Okay, this is good. Can have a little bit more blue and green color. Okay, here you go. Use the dry brush. Okay, more texture. Now I'm gonna have those color coming up over here. This. Uh, observe, find out how the things was working and how the things related okay this is a little bit green so make sure it's a bright color bright enough okay that's good okay okay here we're gonna have even darker okay this need to be even darker okay that's good There's a little bit more green. Okay, that's good. All right, fix the the edges and make that a little bit darker a little bit later. So take a look at in the here. There's a little bit more gray. So let's get a little bit more red in here. Here you go. Now like this, the water splash it. It's going up. And the edge over here, a little bit more texture, like that. That's good, at the bottom over here, a little bit softer, a little bit lighter, so just use the water. Okay, that's good. All right, that's good, nice texture. All right, have a little bit lighter. And now take a look, this just, that's good, like that, and have a little bit more a little bit more uh, 
those textures showing that how the water surface as being like the water crashing down and then create those I'm gonna have that even a little bit more green like that that's good a little bit more green over here and that's good okay now I want to take a look at the bottom right over here you can see this as a little bit more greenish color like this a little bit greenish color I'm gonna just have it from the bottom we have also a little bit green -ish. okay a little bit more green mix into it right here I'm gonna take a look okay don't worry you just take trust the process okay trust yourself and just put it on okay here you go on this side just have the brushes just come come through a little bit more green at the that's what's good and like that all the way coming to the boat okay here you go now this that's good keep the texture and I'm gonna come back you see have to enough light shade it looks very interesting and nice okay here you go okay here you go and I'm gonna have that a little bit more just get a little bit blue and the red a little bit more blue that's good now I'll take a look at there some like the color coming up and going through there's a little bit darker color so a little bit darker they're showing the surface is very very uh, dramatic okay here you go okay here you go that's good yeah, that's good like that now we're gonna come back to take a look at the water over here and I'm gonna just gradually adding more detail to it and I'm gonna have this see this shape is very interesting okay see that that's and get the, just the water to uh, coming a little bit lighter now coming over here that's a little bit lighter okay here you go like that this is good there's two shapes connected together now coming down over here they can get a little bit lighter okay more like that now take a look in here also a little bit gray so when you get the gray get the blue and the red together so that's good okay now just brush it coming down yeah, and I'm gonna get just a little bit more blue that's good coming a little bit more into here that's good okay that's it this can be softer we can soften that a little bit more look at the top over there and yeah, also see this is still wet let's be a little careful so don't get too much into that so can okay, I actually make this a little bit lighter have the water actually showing that the water actually some very light brushes kind of feeling okay that's good now just make it a little bit lighter that's good come back to it in a bit and coming back over here I'm gonna get a little bit gray I'm gonna put that in here this area a little bit more gray like that all right now this also coming out a little bit more a little bit softer okay that's good now come back to the side over here now I'm gonna use the dry brush okay take this a little bit blue greenish okay that's good all right now I'm gonna take a look at and here you go coming down over here that's good now looking at the texture the details to see how this all connected 
So see how the water coming straight, running down. Okay, here you go. Here you go. There's some texture, and the same thing is shaded. There's just uh, there's a form we need to pay attention to. Okay, this is the shadow side. This is a little bit lighter. Okay, so that is shadow. Now have a little bit more texture like that. Open up the brush. It just look at where's the um, shadow, the overall shadow. Okay, this is the shadow side. This is a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna continue. Have a little bit more texture over here. And here you go. Like that. Let's get some little bit texture here. A little bit texture. A little bit more texture on the top. Okay, here you go. Like that. Have a little bit more coming up over here. Now I'll create some more defined inside over here. That's good. Now, it's beautiful. Now I'm gonna come in a little bit down over here. Now I'm gonna gradually have those merge together. Okay, now that's collected together. Now just the water. Okay, here you go. Now just the water. Wash it and have it coming down. Okay, now the, everything is just looks come together pretty nicely. So have a little bit more the green like that. Like that this is good. Okay, a little bit more green. The blue and that together. Okay, there's too much blue. Okay, this is good. A little bit brighter. Yeah, and here you go. Like that. And also in here. Seeing that's a little bit green. Also in the middle over here, have a little bit blue green color. Okay, that's good. Yes, very good, very exciting. So remain, keep the excitement. Okay, that's good. Okay, a little bit here, and break the shape a little bit. They break the shape a little bit over here. Okay. Okay, take a look at in the middle over here. Also, get the red and the blue color. Now I see this have some little big shadow, but the shadow over here also have some really really are uh, dry. So I'm gonna just take the color but let go some of the water. So I'm gonna just open up the brush like that, so you can see some yeah, so some texture nice texture like that okay here you go a little bit texture okay that's good and over here too get a little bit texture like that and over here there's some texture but you don't want to over texture it okay so I'm gonna have a little green color over here as well a little bit over here. Now I'm gonna use just the water. I'm gonna soften that. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Some a little bit softer. Some a little bit texture. Yeah, this is a very nice contrast. And get. Okay, that's good. Right in here. Get collected together. That's good. And over here, make it a little bit darker too. Okay. And that's, I see you have the feeling of the water running down. That's nice. I'm gonna have a little bit somewhere over here, a little bit softer here. And I don't want to have it. I'm gonna take it, take some color out. 
and I'm also going to take some color out over here just 45 degree with this brush to the paper and that's is work the best okay okay make it a little bit softer it definitely have very good connection develop the feeling okay that's good now I'm gonna that's good I'm gonna have this a little bit softer that's need to be softer in here the water nice okay now we're going to working into the focal point the boat let's start with the light color I'm gonna get that uh, some yellow color it's not just yellow have a little bit warm color and also the most areas in the painting is a kind of cool color right gray a blue a little green so have a little warm color it really very very good to create a nice color contrast okay this is good now I'm going to take a look and I'm going to start from the body and take a look at right from here that's good and paint the light color first okay that's good you don't need lots of color just have a little bit got a little bit more red just have the like a yellow orange color okay that's good and then coming all the way over here let's see that's the boat the body I'm gonna have that all the way coming over here look at the angle okay that's good and take a look at the side over here also have some light color okay so there's the whole side over here I'm gonna have a little bit more yeah have a little bit more like that that's good I'm gonna have a little bit dark color on top of that and on top over here and coming over here that's good like that this is good now the side now looking at the uh, the down over here I have a little bit more like a, a shadow area up there uh, so it need to be have a little bit darker it cannot be just yellow right so I'm gonna have that a little bit darker over here and take a look at that I'm gonna have that a couple white dot right over here gonna have a little bit dark like that and here you go a little bit shape okay that's good and here you go like that that's good now this for uh, the underneath color for this is basically we're gonna have this as the text is going to show so this is definitely going to be darker that's good like that nice I'm gonna have some darker color on top of that so actually I can I can have this this is still a little wet on the top so don't touch it so I want to leave the top over there have a little bit uh, a little bit more clear okay this is good so think about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it so on the side over here I'm going to have it just uh, that's too much red just get a little bit more red on the side over here now I'm going to put that right start working into here there's still a little wet so it's a little bit wet a little bit warm color right here like that that's good now I'm going to working on underneath underneath have a little bit more greenish color okay here we go now I'm going to take a look at like this this good and I have some reflection to the water okay that's good okay come to it over here nice that's good now I take a look whether or not it's dark enough I'm also going to have the almost the same color over here have some reflection okay 
as skip. And over here, have a little bit shadow. Okay, here you go. And uh, maybe have a even a little bit darker. And take a little bit more color. And this is the side that's good. Coming up over here. Let's see some water splashes right here. Okay, that's good. All right, I can make it even darker. Hey, right. that's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit warmer. Let's just take a little red right here in the middle over here. A little bit warmer right there. And after you dry, we come back to make the edge over there a little bit darker, right? Just observe to see what color is it, how dark is it, it's very, very important. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more green blue color, the bit softer coming out over here. This is good. Yeah, a little bit softer like that. Okay, here you go. There's some dry brush like that. Okay, all right, now we're going to, coming up, we're going to let that dry before we're going back to touch it. So, now I'm going to paint some figure in it. Okay, let's take a look which one I'm going to star. I'm going to look at the one that is just the most recognizable. So I'm going to get the red color. So it's not just red, a little bit darker. Okay, get a little bit blue and it looks darker. Okay, a little bit more. Here you go, a little bit more. That's good. All right, now I'm going to take a look at right in the middle over here. Okay. How high is it? Right about here. This is good. Okay, that's good. All right. Very nice. And this arm coming down a little bit. Okay. Now there is a head. So just be patient. One by one. Start from one and going gradually going to all the connected shape. Okay, that's good. Now, at the top over there, it's gonna have, we can paint the red color over here too. We can put the little bit blue color, mix into the red, put it over here for the head a little bit later. We can put that color in, just for now. Okay, that's good. And now have this color, and we're gonna have a little bit brown color for the arm. And I can also put that color in. So this is have a little bit more yellow. So mix it into together. Now that will be the brown color, right? Very simple. The brown color compared to this color have a little bit more yellow and a little bit more blue. So the green color have yellow and blue color, right? So here we go. I'm gonna have this looking down. Here you go, like that. That's the arm. Okay, that's good. And this side, that's the arm. On the other side, this is good. Now, I'm gonna take a look at, and I'm gonna just put the brown color, just to suggest all those heads first. Okay, a little bit yellow, a little bit more red, and a little bit blue. So again, too much blue. Got a little bit more yellow, a little bit more red, that's perfect. Okay, take a look at, I'm gonna start from the front over here. That's just the head, right here. Look at the size. So start from the head, I'm going, that's just the second head. Uh, you can actually divide this, and that's from here. Uh, you can also lessen a uh, number of people. So this also another head and the face right here. You can make it a little bit lighter. Now this actually the arm coming up over there. This is good. And actually the body that looks like a jacket that also we can make the same color right here. OK, 
Okay, I can put the color for the shirt a little bit later. So this is the head right here. Actually, this the arm over there. There's the head over here. And there's someone over here stand up. So I'm going to make the head a little bit smaller. That's a little bit too big. Okay, here you go. Like that. You can change it for the convenience. Yeah, this is the head over here. Okay. There's the, the back. Okay. Now this one has no arm coming up. There's just another body and the uh, shirt. And also look at this one. I can have one over here. So give a little patience. Okay. You can do it. And I'm going to have another head right here. So when I have all this together, it would looks comes together very nicely and this is good now I'm going to take a look at uh, there is looks like someone standing up like that and take a look at there's a head right here okay that's good and there's another head okay so they're not all the same distance there's a head over here And here you go. There's the back. Okay, that's good. Now look at the shoulder. That's a little bit lighter. Okay, that's good. Now take a look at there's a hat right here. And like that. And there's a dark hat over here looking to the other side. And there's also another hat coming down like that okay this is pretty good I have almost all the um, the heads over there I'm gonna have a little bit uh, light blue color so I'm gonna put it over here for the shirt okay that's good and this little big shirt like that I can have a little bit blue this one have some variety and this little bit look at that little bit over here okay and you can put a little bit red color over here too there's a little bit red shirt okay that's good and don't forget this head need to be darker for this head okay and I can have the hair coming down over here that's good now I'm gonna make this head a little bit darker on this side and also the shadow of that and this I'm gonna have that little bit blue color a little bit mostly from a distance you see this is mostly just about the uh, about the uh, the blue or a little bit gray color so I'm gonna have that this shoulder like that a little bit by the little when you add a little bit to it you make it look like oh yeah you can connect the uh, imagination okay that's good I'm gonna have a little bit more the gray color take a look at this over here the body okay that's good a little bit over there and this is getting there I'm gonna have some head slightly a little bit darker okay trust the process and you can do it and this I'm gonna have that also that's showing there's another head and shoulder okay that's good and pay attention and this head can be a little bit darker take a look at this one okay coming down like this from here all the way look again coming on to this side and 
from here all the way to the other side here now we're gonna know what is the top this is the yellow and red color okay that's the yellow color on the top first a little bit thicker here you go from here all the way to here okay and the other side like that and we're gonna add a little shadow in a bit let it dry first now plenty of thing for us to do now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color okay, take a little dark color now I'm gonna just have a little gap this is very thin okay here you go like that and look again it's not the same line the same width okay and that's good like this and a little bit thinner and thicker and thinner and thicker look again the sum a little the big thicker okay that's pretty good now I'm going to draw the line on the edge over here okay look at it again okay this can go up a little bit slightly that's good beautiful making this even darker that that's pretty good and I'm gonna have the side of the boat even darker I'm gonna get a little bit more red and the yellow together okay a little bit blue a little bit more red there's too much there's too much uh, green color so I'm gonna have it right here I look at it again is that too dark or dark enough okay I'm gonna put that in here now I'm gonna have just a little bit more, more yellow just a little yellow okay here you go a little bit lighter like that nice okay nice now the side looks very nice now look at the back over here I'm gonna make some really really dark so I'm gonna just have the blue mix into it a little bit more blue a little bit more red now here you go now it's pretty dark already now take a look over here nice now first paint the top over here okay look at it again that's good and a little line okay that's shape yeah, come up come out a little bit okay now I'm gonna cut it over here there's no text above this so I'm gonna paint it a bit darker in the bottom I'm gonna have that a little bit more uh, suggestions over here star and I'm gonna have that over here one text one letter and a little bit rounded corner and a little round corner on the top over here that's another one and there's a little bit round corner and like that that's good so couple line over here that's good and here you go you don't have to make exactly look like those letter it's just load of suggestions okay that's good and the first one put it look like a M that's good enough and all the side over here I can have 
that a little big line so it look like text okay that's pretty good and the end over here now come back over here that's I'm gonna keep a little big red color okay that's good okay a big brownish color on it side over here okay that's good now come back to the boat over here uh, now I'm gonna actually have this coming a little bit lower okay a little bit lower like that and here you go that's good okay take a look at inside over here I'm gonna have some a little filler color so making sure it's not that much okay not that much uh, light so light because that's the shadow gonna have a little bit darker like that just feel a little bit gap over here and like that and the shoulder make it a little bit darker over here now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color for this head okay like that looks nice okay and there's a little bit dark color under the head and this that's the head right here okay that's good and I can have look like a little bit dark red color okay a little bit dark red color over here too okay right here offset a little bit that that's good okay a little big shape like that a little line like that that's just good okay there's a little bit darker this body okay this head oh that's pretty convincing already and I'm gonna have this color and connect it up over here and here you go okay here you go and with the color like this have a little texture okay that's good and I think this painting is finished if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications. If you're already a member of Enjoying Art on Patreon, thank you very much for your support.